Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It has been two weeks since Alberta Dental Association and College referred Amber Atfall's case to a hearing tribunal. The ADAC is blocking her family from knowing what happened to their daughter. Other parents are concerned about the safety of their dental services for their children. Uh, the dentists have told me they're concerned that a hearing tribunal will take years to complete. Dentists and patients are still waiting for decisions about complaints filed in 2012 or earlier. To the Minister, what will this government do to ensure that Atwals and all Albertans can learn from this tragedy to prevent similar future incidents? Good question. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the important question. Uh, I, too, uh, share in all Albertans and wanting to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. And that's why I was so pleased uh, when we were announcing the dental fee review uh, outcomes on Thursday to stand beside the president, uh, incoming president for the association and college who said that this is why it's important that we have a fair process to make sure that uh, everyone is held accountable and at the end of the day that we make sure we're doing everything we can uh, with, through the college and association to make sure that Albertans are protected and that the best practices are guiding the industry as we continue to move forward, Mr. Speaker. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that the dentists uh, have reached out to me demanding separating the Alberta Dental Association and College into two distinct professional and advocacy bodies, and given that such operation, uh, separation is required for a profession to be both transparent and, and accountable, and given that the same dentists have also requested whistleblower protection so that they can address serious gaps in the regulation of the dental professionals Good idea. Uh, in Alberta, to the Minister of Health, when will Alberta's dental professionals receive the same protection, accountability, and independ independent advocacy as professionals in Alberta's other health professions? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. There are a number of professions which have both the college and association combined. Uh, the teachers, for example, come to mind. Uh, the nurses, for example. There are a number of different professions where it works well together, and there are a number where they've been separated. I think that we have an opportunity uh, as we move forward in reviewing this process and watching how it unfolds to see uh, the president of the association of college said that his college had is the biggest, the public interest is always his number one priority, and we'll be able to see that unfold uh, through this review and uh, determining the next steps, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that the family of Amber Atwell are continuing to experience a full uh, fallout uh, from tragedy, providing care has become a full-time job for both parents. And given that they are now facing $2,800 per month bill to rent a wheelchair-accessible vehicle to transport their daughter to much-needed medical and other support services. And given that yet this is another high-profile tragedy where Albertans have expect their government to be there for them to the Minister of Human Services. Why your department is letting yet another Alberta child fall through the cracks by not providing enough support when the Atwals need it most? That's what they do. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. I continue to uh, be committed and working uh, to support the family and helping them liaise the system and making sure that we uh, provide opportunities for Amber to live as inclusive a life as possible as she continues to progress in her recovery. We'll continue to work uh, side by side with the Atwell family to uh, do everything we can to connect them with the important programs and supports that exist both through the government and through the not-for-profits uh, in our province, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.